Hi everybody, this is Mary for Mary's Stamping Camp with Mary, Mary's Stamping Happenings. And today is, there's a card Thursday, let's bring it up. And I want to show you how to do this great fun card. Um, what we're going to be using is we are going to be using the prized peony set. Um, we're actually going to be using the bundle, but with the prize peony set. For ink, we are using Memento Black. Then we are using Blends. We are using Flirty Flamingo, um, Old Olive Combos, and then uh, a Dark Mossy Meadow. For cardstock, we're going to need um, something probably, you can get three of these peonies on an eight and a half by five and a half piece of cardstock. So you'd like to use Whisper White cardstock for that. Um, then I'm going to use an eight and a half by five and a half piece of terracotta. I am also using a four by five and a half piece of um, Seafoam green. I am using a three by three and three quarters uh, pool party and a large piece of scrap. Okay. I am also using the old world paper um, 3D embossing folder and the peonies dies. I'm using the large one that cuts out that flower. Now I've already stamped the flower and cut this, cut it out as you can see, mainly because I didn't want to bring the big shot up here and use it in that. Oh, and we're also using the Timeless Label Punch and some glue dots and some Stampin' Dimensionals. So what I want to do first off is I want to quickly color this peony, and you can. I'm using the Light Flirty Flamingo at first. Just coloring everything, all of the, the, the flower itself in with the light flirty flamingo. I think this really pops it. You'll see why. I've already stamped it and cut and stamped it with Momente ink. And I let it dry before I cut it and stuff. So I'm just stamping it all, or coloring it all with the light flirty flamingo. Then I'm going back with the dark flirty flamingo. And see where it's dark here? I am doing the dark right around here. And you don't have to be precise. You don't have to, you know, get it within the lines. Just make sure you highlight that dark area with the dark flirty flamingo, okay? Everybody thinks it takes a long time to use the blends. Well, it doesn't have to. I'm here to show you that it does not, oops, have to use, take a long time. And then what I'm going to do again is go over it with the light flirty flamingo and blend it in. It just highlights that area. And makes it get almost like a 3D effect, even though this is a distinctive ink. Now I'm, you see where I went offline. I'm going to use the color lifter. Actually, I call it the color pusher. I'm just going to push that color right back into the here. And then I'm going to use my light old olive and do the same things for the leaves. Just going over the entire leaf with light old olive. See how fast this goes? You don't have to worry about it spending days to color these with your blends. I know that was my fear. Oh, uh, I love to color, but it's like, oh, I have to be spending days and days and days coloring these. 
And somebody told me, you don't have to spend that much time, Mary. Just follow what the coloring is. And then go back over with the, the light. And I like to do the circles when I blend it. So it blends a little better. And you can just see it popping now, can't you? That's almost like, wow, man. Those are real leaves. Okay, and then I'm just going to go over the stem with the uh, dark mossy meadow. Now it looks really dark when you first put it on, but wait till it dries and it'll, it will lighten up. I miss my peonies. When we were in Milwaukee, I had a bunch of them and I love peonies. Except ants get all over them. So you can't really bring them in the house much. Okay, so I'm making this card base. I already ran the uh, seaside foam, seaside foam, um, yeah, seaside foam through the big shot in the um, old world embossing, old paper embossing um, folder. So I'm just going to attach this with um, some glue dots. I love this folder. This me it's a really cool folder. And just going to attach that center it and attach it on that terracotta tile and then I'm going to take my pool party and I'm going to attach the flower with some Stampin Dimensionals and you may want to use one or two little ones at the bottom the mini dimensionals. Don't you love those mini dimensionals? You gotta have a ton of them. Now I used, when I first started, I used a four and a quarter by five and a half um, piece of this and I cut it down and then I could get um, three or four of the uh, punches out of the remaining. So as you know, I just saved my punches. I'm just going to put that there and then I'm going to just use glue dots to put that on the uh, the old paper, old world paper, old paper, old world paper, old world paper. I have to get all the new names right, you know. center that up on the top then I'm going to grab this saying and the saying is your sweet friendship refreshes the soul and I'm just going to stamp that on the pool party with memento black and then I'm going to put a couple of And then just put that right underneath. There you go, quick, easy card. And it uses the Stampin' Blends, and it didn't take much time to use, did it? 
Anyhow, please follow me on uh, YouTube and everything you need to make this is listed below. I really would appreciate um, if you enjoy my videos that you uh, purchase your stamping up products from me. Thanks for visiting and happy stamping. Bye-bye.